What Yoink allows you to do is to take a file, and when you click and drag it, the Yoink window opens up on the side of your screen. I can now drag and drop it here, and it will hold it for me. Now I can go wherever I want on my Mac and drag it from Yoink into my timeline. Imagine you're listening to music, but you just clicked a YouTube link, causing a video to start playing. Of course you want to pause your music, so you hit the play pause key, but it doesn't pause your music. Instead, it pauses the video you're trying to watch. So much it's on the gum. So bring it. Young Whippers now. 22 Whippers. You know it's a crime. With Reflex running, the media keys are consistent and predictable and always do what you want them to do. So here's Reflex in the menu bar. I'm going to click it. I can choose which music app it controls, either Apple Music or Spotify. And then I can choose what the volume keys control, either the system volume or the music app volume. I keep it on system volume. So when I use my sound keys, it comes up and changes the system audio. If you have it so that it controls your music app volume, instead adjusts your music app's audio. Additionally, when music and a YouTube video are playing, pressing the play pause button now pauses your music instead of your YouTube video. Typically when you press command tab, you get this app switcher. I like to use something a bit more feature rich, so I use Alt Tab. Alt Tab is a utility that lives in your menu bar. I have Alt Tab start at login, so it's always running. So now when I press Command Tab, I get the same kind of application switcher, but this time I can see a window of each application. I can quit, minimize, and quit the app all from here. So basically it's just a much more powerful application switcher for Mac. So pop clip is super simple. I can just highlight something and when I let go, pop clip pops up right here and I can either copy it or search it. So here's the menu bar icon. I can click it. I can start it at login. I can show it or hide it in the menu bar. The settings are here. I can choose a different size, color, position. I can choose a shortcut to show it and hide it. And then I can choose what options it displays. So I have open link. If I highlight a hyperlink, I have search as you saw, copy, and dictionary if it's a single word. Paste, reveal in finder, cut, and spelling check. So there are tons of keyboard shortcuts for almost every application on your Mac, but sometimes they're pretty hard to remember. So with Cheat Sheet, when you're in any app, so let's say Preview, I can hold down Command, and up pops every keyboard shortcut for the program that you're using. So let's see, let's see. I can, I didn't know that. I can go to Preferences with Command, comma. Let's try it. Command, comma. Sweet. 